guys sorry i'm like sick i've been sick this entire week i don't even know why i got sick but i know you guys have been waiting to see the segment on bethany um for those of you that did not get to watch it on my facebook page i wanted to make a blog post about it but instead of doing my usual writing i just wanted to make a video because i don't even think i have the right words to be able to express all of the emotions that I've been feeling this week, it's overwhelming almost, but in a very beautiful way, but still overwhelming. And I just, I just can't even describe it. But to give you guys the background story, which I know a lot of you were wondering how the heck I even ended up on The Bethany Show and got a reading from Teresa about my boyfriend who passed away two years ago. Here's the backstory. So I had a modeling segment to do for the couch. That's what the show's called. And I modeled a dress, then you know the segment ended. I finished like around nine something and I was going to leave so that I can go to school. As I was leaving, we happened to pass by the line of people waiting to get in for the live taping of the Bethany show and the woman that I had modeled with suggested that we see if we can get tickets to the show and the show the taping was gonna end at 11 30 so you know I said okay why not I should have enough time to you know do the show and go to class so we ask and they're like, we're full, but if you want, you can stand off to the side of the line and if we get in, we can give you standby tickets. If the, if the show is packed, you, I'm sorry, you, you know, you can't get in, but if there's ex empty seats left, we can accommodate you. So we're like, okay, let's just wait. And they told us it was going to take about a couple minutes and it didn't. But anyway, we ended up waiting for like an hour or two, which was fine. And, um... So they're like, they gave us standby tickets. I was number eight. And finally, after what seemed like forever, we they said, okay, we have a couple of seats left. We're now taking standby numbers one through seven. And I'm like, oh my God, I was so close. You know, I really do hope that they let at least one or two more people in so that I can, I can be there because I had waited all that time, you know? So I don't know what the heck happened, but I don't know where they come back and they're like numbers eight and nine. And I like jumped out of my seat so fast. And, um, you know, they sat me in the set and everything. And the way that they filmed the show is actually kind of backwards. So they filmed the middle and the end first and then the beginning. So we filmed the middle and the end. And prior to even me getting into the show, um, we had asked who was the special guest. And they're, they're like, we're sorry, we can't reveal that. And we're like, okay, that's fine. So now we're going to start filming the beginning of the show and they announce a special guest and it's Teresa Caputo and I start bugging out like because you don't I'm like oh my god it's Teresa oh my goodness like my arts family are like you know they're like obsessed with the show his aunt has seen like all of the episodes you know and and I'm like oh my god Oh my God, Teresa is going to read me. And I, like, my heart felt like it was going to come out of my chest. I couldn't stop shaking. I was freaking out because I thought that the lady next to me, you know, could see that I, that I, that I was shaking. And I'm like, she's probably going to think that I'm like crazy or something. And I just started shaking uncontrollably because I knew that she was going to read me. So you know, or that Art was going to make his presence known so that she could read me. And so they interview her, whatever, whatever. And I'm still shaking throughout from the time that they announced that she was coming to the time that she read me to the time that the show finished. I was shaking uncontrollably. Um, I don't know if you guys could tell in the clips of the segment, but I was shaking crazy, like crazy. So... You know, they interview her. They're like, we're going to cut to commercial break. When Teresa comes back, she's going to read some of the audience members. We're like, okay. So the show comes back on. Teresa starts reading somebody from the left side of the room. I was sitting in the right side. Then she finishes with them. And then she starts questioning. And that's where my, my segment comes on. And she asks, you know, you know, 
left boy and a girl. The boy was involved in a tragic accident and so on, so on, so. And at that moment, I realized, I, I mean, I realized from the very beginning when she said boy and girl that she was talking about me. But it, I just hadn't registered with me yet. And I just couldn't even like wrap my mind around it. So I, I just sat there and I started to cry. And I was still shaking, of course. And then she starts, the more she starts talking, the more I'm like, oh my God, she's, this is really happening. And, you know, I raised my hand. But prior to that, when she was reading the woman that was sitting on the other side of the room, I said in my head, I'm like, Art, if there's anything that you want to say to me, this is your time. This is your time. If there's anything that you want to say to me, please let it be known because this is the perfect opportunity. So, like I said, from the beginning, I knew that she was going to read me. And then I just kept saying that in my head. So, obviously, then she starts saying all this stuff. And, and anyway, eventually, I ended up raising my hand because, obviously, she keeps saying all this stuff and nobody's raising their hand because it doesn't apply to them. And, you know, there was only so much she could say. Um, like, I knew that she was talking about me. So, I raised my hand and, you know, the camera crew comes over to me and Bethany comes over and Teresa comes over. And then that's, you know, obviously watch the segment so you can see what happens but it was just an so such a crazy and overwhelming experience and there was more that me and her spoke about but they didn't show the entire thing because obviously you know tv time they don't have that much a lot you know allowed time but we she spoke with me for a long time and there was so many other things that she pointed out besides my tattoo and just a lot of details that nobody would know like you know and, and she mentioned like you know she's like did he like to wear hats because he you know it, it, like even his personality and the things that he would say and it was just crazy but you know I don't believe in coincidence and and one thing I do want to tell you guys is that me and R have always had a special connection with the number 11 and ever since last week I've been feeling like something very big was going to happen on March 11th. I just didn't know it was going to be that big or crazy and um, yeah me and him just always had this special connection to the number 11 and there's a lot of times where you know, something good happens to me, like I get a little bit further in my route to success and I'll see the number 11 or it'll just come up a lot during that time or after something good happens to me. And I take it as a confirmation that he's there, that he's saying hello, that he's acknowledging the moment and that he's basking in the moment with me. And it's such a beautiful thing. But for, you know, like I said, since last week, I've been feeling like something big was going to happen on the 11th. I just didn't know it was going to be that. I just thought, you know, well, I'm doing the modeling segment on the 11th, which is great. So it's probably just that. But I had no idea that my day was going to unfold like that. Like, it's still, I just still can't wrap my mind around how I, I went to a modeling segment. And then I ended up at the Bethany show and Teresa Caputo read me. And this all happened before 12 p.m. Like, I, I just, I have no words. And a lot, of, like I said, on my, I shared on my Instagram, I've, I've been at peace over what happened, and I'm doing much better now. But I really needed that, and that was just a confirmation and a validation of my feelings and how I'm at peace and it's just a beautiful thing to know that when you connect with somebody's soul, that whether, you know, they're physically here or not, you will always have that connection with them. And there's so many things that I can t that I can talk about for hours about how I feel his presence around me and how he makes it known. So it was no surprise to me that Teresa read me and it was no surprise that she told me all that stuff because I believe in that stuff. I do have a special connection with him. It's a beautiful thing. And I think the more in tune that you are with yourself, the more you're able to pick up those little signs. And a lot of times people disregard them as like, well, no, that's just a coincidence that I keep seeing the, this number or whatever your way or your sign are, how you communicate with your loved ones who are no longer here. But at first I thought it was that, but it was just too many things just happening for me to think that it was just pure coincidence. So it, it, it truly is a beautiful thing. And, and I just wanted to say thank you guys for your the 
tremendous outpour of love that I have received these last couple days. I am floored. I mean, a lot of you guys have been with me from the beginning. When I started blogging, you've been there. When I took time off of blogging because I was dealing with this, um, you've been there when I decided to start blogging again because I needed like an outlet to to focus my time on and my energy and not to think about my reality. And that's why I'm very grateful to this blogging community. And that's why I'm so passionate about what I do. Because blogging really gave me an outlet to something to keep my mind busy. And something to devour my passion into and my creativity into. And my love for style and beauty. And of course inspiring you guys. It really gave me a little outlet. So an, an escape almost. So I'm really thankful for my blog. I, I really am thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for all the love. And I've I've I know in my heart that I have a purpose, that my blog has a purpose. And I, I'm not exactly sure what it is, maybe in a year from now I know or whatever, you know. But with everything that I've gone through this week, especially yesterday or Tuesday and you know, with the show airing today, I feel like in our communities, suicide is not discussed, and depression, and mental illnesses, and it's a, it's like almost a taboo topic that nobody wants to talk about because nobody wants to either accept it. People don't want to accept it. Or people just feel uncomfortable. But every fourteen minutes, somebody in the United States commits suicide. That means by the time I'm finished recording this video, which will probably be fourteen minutes, somebody will have committed suicide. And at the end of the day, that's all it is. It's a, a permanent solution to a temporary problem. And I really think that it has come time to talk about this. And even though other people feel uncomfortable about talking about it, at the end of the day, like, this is my reality. This is my life. This is what I have experienced. This, this is the journey that I'm going through. And I feel like I have to use my my work, my following, and you know my the online presence that I have to really give this topic a voice and to really to really try to help so many people out there that are going through this. And it's like you never know what people are going through until you talk about it. And for a long time, a long time, I've kept quiet about what I've been through because it's it's so hard to talk about and not everybody understands because not everybody is in your shoes and I feel like it's time to talk about it I feel like it's my job to shed light on this I don't know how I'm gonna do it I don't know you know how things are gonna come about but I have faith in my heart that everything will work out and I'm going to try my hardest to really, really shed light on such an important topic, especially in my co community, especially in the Latino community, especially in the minority communities. This is affecting us all, and it's something that can be fixed. You know, we don't have to keep suffering like this. You know, and for a long time, I've always said, wow, I would love to start a foundation under art's name. And Art was very passionate about the arts. He loved to write music. He loved music. He loved writing. He loved drawing. And how beautiful will it be to have a community art center in Washington Heights, or in any community actually, but in Washington Heights because this, that's, this is my community, where, you know, teens can come together or, you know, especially the youth, they can come... And they can deal with, the, you know, depression or any suicidal thoughts or anything that they're going through. They can express themselves through the arts. And I'm a big art lover and supporter. And I think that would be, be my ultimate dream. And I really do hope that be, I can accomplish that in my lifetime. And like I said, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what the purpose of my... I know what the purpose of my blog is. But I don't know... I believe that there's a greater purpose behind it you know and 
this is definitely a journey for me and I'm glad to be able to share it with you guys in hopes of inspiring you all because at the end of the day what I want you guys to take away is that like I'm I'm not anybody special you know I I come from a single family home of six in May I'm going to be the first person in my family to graduate from college and I'm just a girl who has big dreams and big hopes and I've never let anything that anybody has told me or any experience that I've ever gone through in life ever stop me from achieving the dreams that I have in my heart. So, you know, if I can be of inspiration to somebody, anybody, you know, through my life experiences and, and you know, because I, I'm a true testament that, you know, like... Lupita says, your dreams are valid. So, anyway, let me stop rambling. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to know exactly what I'm talking about, just go to my blog, gypsyinthecity.com, and watch the, the segment. And um, I hope that this video gave you guys some type of answers, and I just thought it was it would be more useful than writing at the at the moment. And anyway, thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Um, thank you. This is a beautiful time in my life and I just have no words to describe it, but thank you guys.